Hello, killer community, and welcome back to Shep Reacts, where we take a look at an AI documentary, something uh, that I that is unique to this channel. Sometimes there are things that I'm interested in that I like to have a unique uh, documentary made on, and sometimes there are ideas that ChatGPT comes up with and other times where it combines subjects that make absolutely no sense to combine. And that's what we got today. Underwater basket weaving and cosmic pies. Yeah, I don't know about that one either, but I guess we're going to find out. Have you ever wondered what connects underwater basket weaving, paranormal activity, and cosmic cuisine? I've never really wondered that, but now that you bring it up, uh, sure. Well, you're not alone. <laughs> I don't, has anyone else been interested on the connection between those? Welcome to the intriguing world where seemingly unrelated pastimes intersect. Picture a group of unconventional enthusiasts brought together by their shared love for the absurd and the extraordinary. This Motley Crew doesn't just push boundaries, they obliterate them. Okay, I hear Motley Crew and you know exactly what I'm thinking, right? <laughs> I know what Motley Crew means, but Let's be honest, whenever you hear Motley Crue, what are you thinking? I thought so. Diving headfirst into a unique blend of interests that would make even the most adventurous among us raise an eyebrow. Or it might kickstart my heart with all those girls, girls, girls. Anyway. First on their list, basket weaving, but not your grandma's kind. I certainly hope that's not grandma that we look with. <laughs> That's not grandma we're looking at, is it? She's not looking too good. Maybe that's her hair. Um, maybe Medusa? <laughs> Your grandma's Medusa. Ooh, there's an idea for a video. <laughs> Thrill seekers prefer to ply their craft under the ocean surface, where the weaving becomes a dance with the currents. It's a challenge, a meditation, and a testament to human innovation all rolled into one. But that's not all. As they weave their underwater masterpieces, they're also on the hunt. Not for fish. Can you even weave a basket underwater? <laughs> I, I, I mean, like, actually in the water. I don't mean like you're in a submers submersible, uh, you know, craft and your basket weaving inside it. No, I'm talking about, you know, scuba diving down and uh, uh, basket weaving. Is that even possible? <laughs> I, I don't know that maybe we should make a video about underwater basket weaving and how do you do it? Yeah, now see, I, I <laughs> a, uh, <coughs> we got some uh, possibilities here. That's why I like these AI documentaries. It's uh, uh, things you were afraid to ask. Or treasure, but for evidence of the paranormal. Ghosts, spirits, unexplained phenomena, these are the mysteries they seek to unravel in the depths. Actually, uh, the only mystery that I'm kind of wondering uh, is if the ghosts are actually underwater weaving baskets. Um, they, yeah, I'd like to know the answer to that. Because where better to look for the unknown than in the unexplored abyss of the ocean floor? And then there's the pie. Not just any pie. <laughs> what? <laughs> It's, you could put the, you could weed the baskets and put the pie in it, and maybe uh, you know use it as an offering uh, to the ghosts that are underwater. Yeah, um, I can see a connection. But pies baked with ingredients rumored to have originated from outer space. That's right. <laughs> while they're not. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great pie, man. Where'd you get the ingredients out? Outer space. <laughs> all right, so the next time you make a pie, all right, uh, <laughs> or maybe you buy it from Walmart, which then, uh, then it's probably uh, true. Uh, where'd you get this pie? Outer space. <laughs> Remember that one, okay? You, you heard it here, all right? Busy weaving baskets or ghost hunting. These enthusiasts are competing in a pie-eating contest with a cosmic <laughs> twist. Imagine biting into a slice of pie that tastes like stardust or nebula. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that would taste really good. 
You know what it makes me think of, though? It makes me think of like Sims 3 or Sims 4 uh, when you, you, you make uh, the food and it has those special qualities and it's, you start to sparkle and stuff. I don't mean like a vampire, but <laughs> you sparkle and you have those uh, uh, great moods or, or something. You Sims players, you know what I'm talking about. A culinary journey through the cosmos. This bizarre intersection of earthly crafts, supernatural phenomena, and cosmic cuisine is more than just a novelty. It's a celebration of the human spirit, our insatiable curiosity, and our unwavering determination to explore the unexplored, no matter how... Whee! <laughs> just holding the stuff. The uh, sparklers. Strange or daunting it may seem. So as we dive into this strange journey, prepare to have your mind boggled. Yeah, my mind is boggled. All right, I, I'm, I'm trying to figure this one out. Our adventure begins in the depths of the ocean with a basket, a snorkel, and a sense of the unknown. I don't think that basket uh, would work very well underwater. Uh, maybe, I, I something, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I mean... What do I know about basket weaving? You know, I've got basket weaved before. Maybe it is possible to do it underwater. Our brave and unconventional enthusiasts have embarked on a quest that merges the crafty art of basket weaving with the thrill of underwater exploration. It, well, it doesn't look like that person is doing it underwater. So, you know, you know. After this, if you will, the hum of the ocean, the dance of the fishes, and amidst it all, our intrepid group, wrestling with strands of seaweed and wicker and eating pies under the ocean because you know why not they attempt to create something beautiful in this alien environment now weaving a basket on dry land is no easy feat try doing that while holding your breath yeah because uh you should be able to hold your breath long enough to be able to weave an entire basket uh-huh yeah i can see that as a possibility fantastic marine life around you. But our group is nothing if not persistent. They twist, they turn, they weave. Well, you know, that basket uh, looks like it might actually survive underwater. All while managing to keep their baskets from floating away. It's a sight that would leave even the most seasoned scuba diver in stitches. But as they bumble their way through this unique challenge, there's something else at play. A chill that isn't from the cold ocean water, a shadow that doesn't belong to a passing fish. The first whispers of something paranormal. A blip on a sonar screen. A flicker of movement in the corner of a diver's eye. The ocean is known to be a realm of mysteries. But is it possible that our basket weaving enthusiasts have stumbled upon something truly otherworldly? The underwater world continues to surprise and baffle as our group finds themselves not just weaving baskets, but also weaving through the first threads of an enigma that goes beyond the normal. How fitting for a group that's anything but ordinary. Just when you thought weaving baskets underwater was strange enough, things are about to get a whole lot spookier. Kind of like that image right there, which like looks like something that uh, has been AI generated from Mid Journey. I mean, uh, take a look at that. <laughs> See, what you do is you get uh, that uh, screenshot uh, without the eye stock uh, watermark on it and uh, turn it into uh, an AI uh, video or something, you know, where stuff is moving. I mean, imagine, you know, the lights are flickering, the clouds are moving, this tree over here is kind of, uh, the branches are moving a little bit, the mouth is moving. That be, could be kind of cool. Deep beneath the waves where the sunlight barely reaches, our brave enthusiasts encounter something otherworldly. The ocean's abyss, a place where even the bravest of souls would hesitate to venture, has become their playground. As they navigate the eerie silence of the deep, their craft of underwater basket weaving takes a back seat to the inexplicable events unfolding around them. Imagine this, you're weaving a basket, your fingers deftly working the seaweed strands, when suddenly a spectral glow illuminates the water around you. It's not the bioluminescent dance of deep sea creatures, but an ethereal light that moves with purpose, with intent. It's as if the very fabric of reality is bending, twisting in ways that challenge every law of physics we hold dear. Our intrepid adventurers are no strangers to the unexplainable. They've seen shadows where there should be none, felt cold spots in the warmth of the ocean currents, 
they've heard whispers carried by the waves, each word an echo from a world beyond our own. Yet they press on, their curiosity piqued, their spirits undeterred. In one encounter, a basket slips from a weaver's grasp, floating upwards instead of sinking. It hovers there, defying gravity, before darting away into the darkness with a speed that would make a dolphin envious. Uh, you know, if I was weaving a uh, basket uh, underwater, the seaweed is actually an interesting idea. But anyways, if it kind of, you know, uh, took off like really quickly, uh, faster than a dolphin. Yeah, there might be something paranormal going on there. <laughs> in another instance, spectral hands appear, assisting in the weaving. Their movements synchronized with the weavers, as if guided by an unseen master. Okay, that just looks a little creepy with this hand that's just kind of like... E <laughs> but it's not all spectral lights and ghostly assistance. There's a sense of camaraderie. <laughs> they're, they're all on the side. They're like, hi, hi, <laughs> hi, <laughs> how you doing? I wonder how many takes it took. How many takes it took? <laughs> how many times they had to actually shoot that uh, with them being in that position and being able to hold their breath and stuff because they're like smiling and stuff. Pottery that forms when you're sharing these experiences, a bond that strengthens with every shared gasp, every wide-eyed moment of disbelief. It's in these moments of shared awe that the true magic of their journey shines through, a testament to the human spirit's unyielding thirst for the unknown. And as they weave their baskets amidst these paranormal encounters, they can't help but wonder, what's next? <laughs> That alien. Oh, he's being held. He's being, he's in a chokehold. He's in a chokehold like this. It's like, Meh. see? <laughs> he's like, ah, 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 ah. poke, 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 poke. Does the universe have in store for them? As if weaving baskets and chasing ghosts underwater wasn't enough, our adventurers have one more challenge to face. And this one is out of this world. From the depths of the ocean to the vastness of space, our group finds themselves in an intergalactic pie-eating contest. Imagine this, if you will. Okay, I'm imagining um, we can create a, a new uh, AI movie about a pie-eating contest across different worlds. I don't think anyone's made a movie like that. I think, uh, you know, the, uh, the fun, interesting absolutely uh wacky ideas for movies is kind of fallen by the wayside and you know you know when i go to a movie it, i'd like it to be something that kind of takes me away from the uh nasty realities of the world i think we need to get back to that a pie eating contest across worlds hmm a cosmic banquet table laid out with pies, each one filled with ingredients rumored to have hitched a ride on a comet from the farthest reaches of the Milky Way. <laughs> We're talking about stardust sprinkles, nebula nectar, and perhaps even a dash of dark matter. Okay, uh, a dash of dark matter. I I don't think matter and dark matter are supposed to be together. It's kind of like matter, antimatter. Something tells me that not only would that give you indigestion, it probably would do a little bit more than that. I don't know. No stranger to the extraordinary. Those chocolates even are they good. can't help but marvel at these celestial confections. There's a moment of awe, a shared gulp of anticipation, and then it's down to business. The contest kicks off with a bang, or rather, a splat as the... Okay, for a moment, I thought there was potato chips on this pie. I mean, doesn't that look like someone crumpled up some potato chips and put it on top of that pie? That kind of makes me think of a uh, Rhett and Link uh, Good Mythical Morning episode. You know, will it pie? <laughs> Could do something like that for my Killer Awesome Day series. Make pies out of things that shouldn't be pies. Like, I don't know, Dark Matter, for example. Or rather, a splat as the first pie is devoured. <laughs> splat. The scene is a chaotic symphony of smacking lips, giggles, and the occasional gasp as our group experiences flavors that are literally out of this world. And when you're having that stardust on top of uh, your pie, this is what you see. 
<laughs> this is about all you see. You are definitely on a high note uh, when you eat those kind of pies. Imagine tasting a supernova or biting into a slice of the cosmos itself. It's a gastronomical adventure that's as much about the journey as it is. Yeah, it's a journey to the bathroom is what that is. Our team's reactions are as varied as the pies themselves. One has a look of cosmic confusion, as if trying to decipher the taste of a quasar. Yeah, I know that I'm a little confused at the moment, but uh, we'll just keep going. Another is in gastronomic glee, relishing every bite of their black hole berry pie. Black hole berry pie. Now that sounds like something that would be at one of those uh, space-themed cafes. Um, I've seen them before, uh, you know, where it's it's alien you know they're probably something like that in uh, roswell new mexico they might have a you know an alien space themed uh cafe and they have a black hole berry pie if you know a place oh you know what google google's your friend okay uh i check in for black hole berry pie and there is nothing all right i would have thought someone somewhere would have made it and yet another seems to be in a state of existential crisis, questioning the reality of this unearthly culinary experience. It's a sight that's as entertaining as it is baffling. In the midst of all this, there's an underlying sense of camaraderie. Each bite, each shared laughter, and each moment of bewilderment brings the group closer together. They're not just eating pies. They're sharing a once-in-a-lifetime experience that transcends the ordinary. And with that, our adventurers have successfully completed their trifecta of unusual challenges. Yep, unusual is definitely a word I would use. But let's take a moment to reflect on what we've witnessed. The exploration of the deep sea, the encounter with the paranormal, and the taste of cosmic cuisine, all woven into one incredible narrative. I don't see any pies on that table, do you? What a journey it's been. Underwater basket weaving, ghost hunting, and cosmic cuisine. Sounds like a normal Tuesday, right? Absolutely. And since Tuesday is Trucker Tuesdays here on uh, Killer TV, uh, maybe we'll travel in a truck and do some underwater basket weaving and uh, looking for pies and ghosts and stuff. Now let's take a moment to reflect on this madcap journey we've been on. Our intrepid group of enthusiasts didn't just dip a toe into the unconventional, they belly flopped right in. <laughs> <laughs> and what a splash they made. Remember when they first plunged into the deep blue, baskets in hand, ready to master the art of underwater weaving? Oh yeah, I remember who knew that. Weaving reeds and seaweed could be so challenging. Yeah, I mean, who knew? I, I who knew there'd be a connection between all these things? I mean, I don't know. I wasn't expecting it. Were you? Not to mention slippery. And let's not forget the paranormal encounters down there in the mysterious depths. Who'd have thought ghost hunting and deep sea exploration could go hand in hand? Actually, no, I, I do believe that because um, you've got the ghost ships, you know, ships that have sunk. And there's been ghost stories around those ships. So, no, that, that doesn't seem odd to me at all. Uh, now, combining that with basket weaving and uh, cosmic pies, well... <laughs> I mean, it's not every day you find a spectral sea captain lurking in a coral reef, is it? Then, as if things weren't already strange enough, they decided to participate in a cosmic pie-eating contest. Yeah. Because, you know, <laughs> a regular pie-eating contest just wouldn't cut it. No. They had to have pies with ingredients rumored to have originated from outer space. Yeah, like, uh, you know, uh, black matter and uh, stardust. I mean, who needs apple pie when you can have Martian meringue or lunar lemon tart, right? Right, and uh, I don't see any pie on that table. <laughs> but you know, as zany as these exploits may seem, there's something rather beautiful about it all. In their own peculiar way, our adventurers have shown us that the most unusual- What was that, a time portal? I mean, look at that, it looks like he that was a time portal. Uh, you know, there were, we're mixing time travel in here too. Didn't even know. ...have shown us that the most unusual intersections can lead to the most incredible journeys. They've woven together the earthly and the ethereal, the gastronomic and the galactic, creating a tapestry of experiences that is as bizarre as it is breathtaking. <laughs> so next time you find yourself weaving a basket underwater, hunting for ghosts, 
or eating a pie from outer space remember our brave adventurers and their peculiar journey. Because in the end, isn't life just one big, strange adventure? Yeah, kind of like that video was one big, strange uh, video, uh, thanks to AI. <laughs> All right. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed uh, that video. Uh, definitely something interesting. Like I said, you're not going to find this anywhere else. It is unique to this channel. So hope, you hope you're enjoying it. And the sky is the limit, or maybe the ocean is the uh, limit as far as how deep it goes in regards to ideas for AI documentary. So let me know in the comments what kind of documentary you would like to see. Uh, it can be uh, serious. It could be weird and wacky. Uh, you can give a few details or a lot of details. Uh, we'll just uh, throw it into the prompts and see what it comes up with. Uh, I won't watch the video. I save it for the reaction and uh, we'll watch it together. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a killer, awesome day.